right along our next topic. Now, I know the love is not in this room for the Acolyte. I'm what? probably the most forgiving of this show. I haven't finished it. You didn't finish it. Jonathan, I didn't finish did you watch it? it? Okay. I start, I, I've really only watched the first three episodes. All right. So what I'm going to do is I don't even know if I want to watch. I kind of want to like parse through it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just to get the idea. I want to tow for Grace. And then you watch maybe the... You, you can't do that. that no? I try to do that because a lot of people are saying it was picking up it's in the last episode, right? Yeah. That. And so I started doing what you're, you're talking about, Jonathan. And I just wanted to go back and watch the full episode because I wasn't to be understanding fair, the episodes a lot of it. are only 20 minutes. Yeah. So. You can boogie through it pretty quick as a binge. Yeah. Verdict's still out for me. Mm -hmm. I can't say I totally hate it without finishing yeah. it. So now, I will say, I think everyone should watch it just so you can have a full-fledged opinion right, on exactly. it. Right, exactly. That's sure. why I haven't said anything well, that, about yeah. it. To be fair, I'm also... That's anything. I, I don't think I've ever really gone on the record as like, I've acknowledged how oh, bad yeah. it is uh, of what people think, but I've mm -hmm. never gone on the record and said like, oh, it's terrible. For sure. Only... I don't like the three episodes I saw though. So those three episodes, yeah. I'm like, like the fight me thing. I was like, oh, this is so bad. Yeah, and it's such wooden fair. acting, and the directing is off, and and I, I didn't have any of the issues. Obviously, like some of these people have issues with like, oh, well, there's females, or oh, it's this, or yeah. it's just why trying to have the, a, why is it, space diverse? It's trying to have a, a message. <laughs> I'm like, no, for me, it's like she opened a cell by electrocuting a, a wire. Like just a random wire or like just very convenient writing. There's a couple just kind it of. It happened because it's in the script, moments. obviously. Yeah, exactly. There are certain things I can suspend my disbelief tremendously, uh, but I need it to make sense. Just follow your own rules. Yeah, I guess that just That's happened is not really. But, work yeah. but look, here's the positive about the show mm -hmm. is you didn't have to leave your house. Yeah. You could have stopped it whenever you wanted and you could you had the choice to uh, watch it or not. Like uh, sometimes when you go to the theater, you're like stuck there. Like, even if it's, like, turning out to be not what you thought. Sure. So so at least that's the positive, which has nothing to do with the show. It just has everything to do with convenience. Yeah. But something you did have to go outside the house for is merchandise. Exactly. Yeah. Or or maybe just go to your front door if you ordered it. <laughs> if you ordered it. Right. And if you were into this show, there was some merchandise for the Acolyte. But according to our friends over at comicbook.com, they are pulling merchandise related to the Acolyte. Now, specifically, the Disney store uh -huh. is pulling this merchandise. Okay, because yeah. all I know is like Target and them are just now starting to get their Acolyte action figures. Mm -hmm. I wonder if those are going to be affected and how is this going to affect the aftermar the aftermarket, secondary market? Would it jack up? The Remember when Gina Carano first got fired, mm -hmm. her figure went up, skyrocketed, oh, skyrocketed like the first one or two, the Pops? They're, they've they've settled down now. I mean, yeah. everyone's over it. All pops are kind of. But this might have the same effect. It'll be interesting to see eBay if any of this like goes up, especially for ca the show may not have been good, but a lot of people liked certain characters in the show. Yeah. Oh heck, which yeah. which made them. If expensive. I could get a Kamir, come right. on, Sith Bay. I, I refer to Sith Bay. I love Sith Bay. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see <laughs> oh, what this does to the secondary market on on, on these things. I mean. I haven't heard of Disney ever doing this with anything, actually. If you go to a Disney store or Target, you still see a stuff from Wish. Yeah. Because they can't get rid of it. Well, and that was one where they made so much merchandise. Because Disney, at the end of the day, is a big business. And so many of their properties focus on them being toyetic. But what, 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 would, what would be the... They just don't want uh, anyone to know about the show anymore well, is that well, why because they can make money off it still part right? of the Don't you think? sure part of the problem is that you know they posted this on reddit of course uh the world's like place for accuracy and and truth but uh <laughs> but uh you know it's when you go to the disney store itself it says no result found for the acolyte it's just all gone but the article does bring out that this stuff was all meant to be Timed. Temporary. It was all seasonal. Yeah. Well, not even seasonal. It was all meant to just be limited release. Okay. Yeah. And so if you to your point, if you go to like Target or uh uh Walmart. Well, Entertainment Earth, Target, whatever, yeah. you can still get merch. So like they're yeah. still selling the helmet, like this helmet right here. Uh, you know, so it's not like they just pulled all of it. And that a lot stuff. of the Disney store is the Disney branded stuff. Yeah. You're not gonna get the Hasbro stuff, which uh is the expensive things. Um I, I think I think because of the climate with this with this show and then its cancellation, there's a lot of like sensitivity or just heightened like right. raw nerves, like oh they're doing this because of this or, yeah. or whatever. So you got the one side, you got the incels. Let's just say it. 
who are like, yay, we're winning. Like, we still hate <laughs> Disney, but what they're doing this because of what we said. And then you got the other side who genuinely liked it, and that's fine. Yeah. Who are like, oh, we're letting the incels win. It's like, you're only letting the incels win if you if you and your heart let them win. Like, they, they're not, they didn't pull this because there was a woman in it. I'm sorry. Go see exactly. Skeleton Crew that's coming up, and 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 Andor and anyone else is a diverse yeah. cast. Well, and this is why I always give Star Wars a shot. Yeah, right. Always give it a Can shot. You, if you actually love the properties, if you actually love this fandom, you're always going to give it the good old college try they, and see if it's for you. Because not everything is. They canceled the show because not just the ratings, but the viewership took a nosedive. It took so a why huge would you decline. spend hundreds of millions on this show, and, and and then and then for like a quarter of the, you know, the yeah. audience. Well, I mean, Oh, oh go so, no, go ahead. Ray. No, no, I was just uh, one thing was like, I wonder if they still uh, are still selling Willow stuff on the Disney store. That's a good question. Oh. You know, the Let's only thing out. that actually hurt me that they pulled that mm -hmm. I was a little I was looking forward to. There's a movie they're going to re release a little while ago. I think it was called Crater, mm -hmm. where these kids go onto the moon or they time travel to the moon or something. And I remember looking it up. And it, I couldn't find it. And I just realized, oh, they canceled the whole movie. They We can't even watch it anywhere. The only Willow thing on DisneyStore.com is a Willow 35th anniversary pin. That's a but limited edition. But and that's a throwback to the original movie. But that's movie. a throwback to the original, yeah. yeah movie. So there is something, and I do always find this a little jarring mm -hmm. when especially in this now current age of streaming where we do not have physical copies of these shows, it is a little off-putting to have everything completely Kaiser Sosaid, where there's no trace of this show <laughs> oh, left whatsoever. Yeah, exactly. I do find that part jarring. Now, of course, you have to think about supply and demand. If there's not the demand for these products from Disney, why would you keep making them? But it, it still just gives me a little bit of pause as a creator and as somebody who enjoys Star Wars and comic books and, you know, nerdy properties the idea of it being gone forever and somebody who does genuinely love it, not being able to experience it, enjoy it, have that merch, right. have even have even this footage if this gets pulled from Disney at some point. Right. That's the part that always worries me about well, these kinds of That's things. the problem. That's that's if you're gonna get into a streaming show, that's the risk you're making. And, and, yeah. But 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 I, the plus to having Disney Plus is you would think you could go back and watch the shows no one else liked. Mm -hmm. Like just have an archive of things. I get it costs stuff, the but problem like, is it, it just does, takes yeah. away from yeah. from Maybe a reason why someone would want to go to Disney Plus. I want to see that awful show that everyone talked about. I mean, you're gonna have some hits, but then, they don't, but then that's kind of bad for like it. if you owned a service, you wouldn't want people to just, like, right. But fair. you know, yeah. over time, maybe it's one of those things that becomes relevant again. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Well, we'll see. But, yeah. You know, the room is still talked about for, everywhere. There's reasons for, for, for why all the room. Right 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 still, reason. yeah. Tommy was all. Yeah. All right. One of the best worst movies of all time. I mean. So fun. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Miracle Made. Guys, it's hot outside and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Miracle Made sheets are inspired by NASA and use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. There are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic. We already mentioned the self-cooling properties for better quality sleep, but they're also self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. So go to trymiracle.com slash campia. That's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E.com slash campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash campia to treat yourself thank you miracle made for sponsoring this episode well folks 
Question's up for you. Do you think it's pretty shocking that Disney has pulled all of the Acolyte merch from their Disney store, or does that make sense to you? How do you feel about, in general, some of these shows getting this kind of erasure treatment? Let us know how you feel in the comments down below. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.